Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at how to build a over-the-collar bandana for your small dogs, just like my dog here, Potter. So let's take a look at how to get started. Okay, I'm going to start off by ironing my fabric to remove any wrinkles or creases. Then I'm going to measure out 12 inches by 12 inches. This worked well for my dog, being that he's a small dog. If you have a larger dog, just make this square a little bit larger. Now that we've measured it out, we're cutting it and folding it in half, lining up all the corners, and measuring out three inches from the folded corners that we have here and cutting them off. This is where the um, collar is going to go through the bandana. So this is going to be a visible edge and we need to hem it off. Here you can see me pinning, or clipping in this case, the edges that are going to be hemmed. And now I'm going to hem these edges. The reason we're hemming this is so that way we don't have the fabric fraying and giving us dirty edges. In this case, it's going to keep them nice and clean and we can keep on putting the collar on and off and switching out different bandanas if we wanted to. Switching over to the second side, and again, it's going to create a loop, so we need the two sides hemmed because they're both going to be visible. And once we finish this hem, we're going to fold the fabric in half again, putting the right sides together. And when we do that, it's going to kind of create a little house shape. And what we want to do is sew the edges of like the peak of the house. So the pointy part of the bandana with the right sides together. What this is going to do is basically um, finish off the main essential part for our bandana to work. Uh, once we finish this, we're going to have to cut off the tip of the bandana so that way when we flip it out the corner looks nice and crisp so now that we have it flipped over we basically have a finished bandana I'm going to create another seam right here just so that when I'm putting on the leash it doesn't travel and get stuck into the base of or the tip of the bandana it just makes it a little bit easier for me to use snip the last bit of thread and we have a finished bandana all we need now is to put the collar inside of the bandana and put it on the dog. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!